Hello, and welcome to this introduction to TypeScript video. My name is Dan, I'm happy to have you here. Our goal is to introduce you to TypeScript in bite-sized chunks with small videos that you can reference as you go along. In this one, we're gonna be covering a couple ways to set up TypeScript so that you can follow along in this sort of series or course. All right, so let's look into it. So the first way I wanna show you is to go to the official TypeScript website. So that's gonna be typescriptlang.org slash play. So that will give that will bring you to the playground. You can find the link for the playground right up here in the navigation bar. The other thing to note is uh, you can remove any code that you saw here in the code editor. And then we can right away go ahead and start typing TypeScript in the editor. So const greeting, I could say this has to be a string and it could be hello world and even add some emoji there and shows up and then we'll just do some typical javascript stuff and we'll console log our greeting give you a little tour what's going on here you can see that over on the right we have several tabs the first one is going to be to show you what the javascript looks like i'll go into how typescript compiles into javascript but you'll see stuff like the type annotation here the string is removed we've also got a tab for the types file we've got a tab for the errors one for logs and other study other tabs for different various settings that you can use to customize this web editor i want to point out this examples drop down we click this, we can see that it will come with several examples on various different pieces of functionality that TypeScript gives us, like what are literals, unions, discriminated types, enums, type guards, various sorts of things that we'll cover throughout this series. But coming back to our code, what we want to do is hit the run button and we will see that on the right side, we get our log output for hello world. So this tool is great. As it indicates, it's a playground. You can play around, you can learn different features, you can follow along without having to install anything on your system, um, and you have immediate access to the documentation, examples, and you can click this TS config button, which gives you, uh, instead of a text file, you get a description with comments on all the different options that would normally exist in your configuration file. But let's move on to an example on what if I want to run TypeScript on my local machine, or what if I want to create a project on my local machine with TypeScript installed. So to get started, you are going to need to have Node.js installed on your machine. Um, there's a couple ways you could do it, but the main way would be to go to nodejs.org and download it for your system. Um, you could do it for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Um, it is recommended to get the latest LTS version, the long-term support. So currently that's going to be six, excuse me, that's going to be 18, but you'll also see a lot of different software running 16. So either of those are fine. Once you've got Node.js installed on your machine, uh, you're going to have to open up a terminal. You're going to create a folder. In this case, I created a folder called setup. And you can make sure Node is correctly installed by doing Node version. So in my case, I'm using 16.19. You can also check that you have the Node package manager. In this case, it is 8.19.3. And that should come with Node, right? You don't have to install that separately. So in your project folder, you can run npm init. I'm going to add the dash y flag so I don't have to answer the question by question prompts and you'll see what it has done is create this package JSON file with some default answers if we open that up it's just gonna have the name of the folder a default version number and an index.js the next thing we want to do is install TypeScript so you can do npm for node package manager you could do save dev this is going to save it as a dev dependency and then install TypeScript. All right, so we installed one package. Where did that go? So what happened was it gets added to the dev dependencies object in your package JSON. You also get a new folder called node modules, which will contain the actual software for various packages you install with NPM. You'll note on my machine, this is grayed out. This is because node modules is a very common uh, folder to ignore if you're using uh, Git for version control. All right, so now that we've installed TypeScript, we want to create a TypeScript configuration file. So you, when you install TypeScript with uh, NPM, it's going to include something called the TypeScript compiler, which is this TSC program you see here. I'm over here in the uh, documentation. And one of the options, if you scroll down, is this init. So it's gonna initialize a TypeScript project and create a tsconfig.json file. So let's go ahead and do that. So I type TSC init and hit enter. 
and we get command not found. That is because TypeScript is installed into this specific package and not into the overall computer. So what we can do with modern versions of NPM is you can type NPM exec, the name of the command, TSC. And then if you want to pass arguments like this init flag to the program, TSC, instead of the NPM program, you need to add this extra double dash here. Okay, so what we've done is created a new tsconfig file with some default attributes. You can see that is located over here on the right. Another thing you'll notice is that it added a package lock JSON. This is something that is uh, automated whenever you npm install well, you do not have to edit this manually or deal with this manually so in our tsconfig json file you can read through it if you like it has comments that describe what all these options do but for the most part you can ignore these this is just um, how it configures the various more complicated options that typescript has so but for now i'm going to close this file let's go ahead and create a simple typescript file you can right click or you create a new file in your project directory in this case i'm just going to call it index.ts instead of js and again and we can add a simple declaration of a variable and then we can log that variable to the console okay so how do we run this file well if you have used node.js before you might try to do node index.ts and to my surprise this apparently works this is likely because we haven't actually written any TypeScript specific language. This is all plain JavaScript. So let's add the type annotation here to say that this is a string. Save the file, rerun node index.ts, and now I'm getting the uh, missing or I'm getting the syntax error that this is not valid JavaScript anymore. This is because Node.js is runs JavaScript files and not TypeScript files. So what we need to do is make sure we compile our index.ts file into a JavaScript file. And there are a couple ways to do this. Let's go ahead with, if you're building a project with multiple files, let's go ahead and create a build script in our package JSON. This can just be TSC. And I think that's it. I think that's all that we don't need any other information at the moment. And now if we run npm run build, it will run our TypeScript compiler. And what we have done is we have created this index.js file. And you will see that the syntax is slightly different, but this will be our correct JavaScript file, which we can then run with index, or excuse me, with Node.js. But maybe that is too many steps if you're just trying to test something out in a single file. So let's try and find a shorter way to doing shorter way to do that. So I'm going to change the string here. And of course it needs an emoji. So now that that is different, what we can do is npx. So npx is different from npm. This is going to find an executable on the node package registry. Then we can do ts node, which is the same thing as node, but it processes TypeScript files automatically. It will compile them and then it will run them. So npx ts node index ts. It'll say yes. It'll prompt you to install ts node. We now get the string launch the rocket, which is different than the hello everyone string because we've not yet run the build command once again. So there you have it. Hopefully this short video helped you get started and introduced a couple of ways to just get TypeScript set up so you could just start coding and practicing and follow along with this video. I hope you'll join me in the next one where we'll cover some more basics such as primitive types and what does TypeScript add to JavaScript and what are situations where you might want to use it. I hope to see you there. Bye.